I just want to expose what's her name to weaken her. Of course. I don't care yeah. what they do. That's just your agenda, man. Definitely yes. stick on. Snorri on them. But have we checked the corpse yet? So yeah, let's 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 figure out the are you going to release Snorri thing. I propose we set the boat on fire as soon as possible when it's we leave. It's on fire right now. It's oh, it is? Yes. Oh, yeah. Better. It's going to burn oh. no matter what. Oh, what yeah. Okay. On the fire? Have we ever... um, who speaks Who speaks something the gibberish these guys speak? Whatever this... Scald. Like gobbledygook. I know. <laughs> Whatever this gobbledygook garbage these guys speak. Who can talk to them? I speak common and Verisian. Sorry. Anybody? Anybody? Wow. We All suck. Right, so I should... You don't understand anything they've said so far. No, we, we got nothing. Verizian, man. And that's about it. All right. Um, then I'll 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 say let's uh, let's quickly expose the corpse so they can see it's not Snorri when they get here. Someone and I'll go downstairs and bring Snorri up. No, you will not. Snorri will die here tonight by my hand I, or by fire. He can still die. I just want to see him and know she's a liar. I am not comfortable removing him him's chains. He has to stay chained. He must die on this boat tonight. Okay. I'll move to here. How sturdy are the planks on the, Pretty on sturdy. the ship? They're it's, just laying there on top of the seats or are they nailed down? They're nailed down. This is a, still a raiding boat. This was Snorri's raiding boat. You know, It's a solid right. war vessel. Okay, I just didn't know if they had just laid planks on it or if they'd actually nailed this thing. No, it's all nailed in. Blah. No help. You could throw a grenade down there and see if it blows up the boards from below. It's, I'd be happy to throw two bomb. grenades down at him. You I'm sure it's just There's blown. no fragmentation. It was a smoke bomb. You yeah. can cut the boards with your two-dimensional sword. Uh, I mean, I can start to hack at the boards, but I'm sure it's going to take... I just want him to be able to see Snorri. After that, I don't, I don't really care. All right, I'll work on it. I'll start hacking a hole right here above where Snorri was standing. Okay. Um, where the fire is weak in the boards a little bit, I'll, I'll knock the edge of that and try to... I will attempt to aid him or otherwise bash boards. I, I will guess. unwrap the face of the guy on the pyre. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to help with that. All right. Let's see here. Can Eridos and Smith make a perception check? <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are surprised when basically like 30 guys with axes show up at the edge of the firelight and are preparing to start climbing on the ship. What would you like to do now? You have the corpse uh, that's up there unraveled. Inside is nothing. It was just wrappings that were held in place by, like, some sort of, like, inner structure, you know, like, some sort yeah, of mm -hmm. casing. Um... I think you've probably damaged the floor quite a bit, and, like, maybe you can see chains down there, and you definitely hear Snorri laughing. Like, you, you definitely hear him just repeating okay, the I'll line say, uh, about the joke. He's like, the last joke I ever made was the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, uh, Snorri, sense. here's your chance to expose um, Thorborg. Wouldn't that be a jo good joke on her, huh? So is there a hole now somewhere thereabouts there, in this area? There's not really a hole, per se. There's some damaged boards you can see down through. Okay, okay. I'll keep at it until the, all the guys get here. So Hold the that corpse is, up. The, the guys are here. They're within yeah. 30 feet of the boat, and there's 30 of them. Mm -hmm. Do you Hold want the... to stay, or do you want to go? I think, I think we, we should, should stay. I think, I think we should expose them. Hold the corpse up so they can see what it is. I think we should leave. Our presence does nothing to aid that endeavor. Eridos, oh, well, do you yeah. think you can talk our way out of this? Probably. Except we don't speak. Does anyone speak Scald? No. This seems like a horrible place to put our, uh, what's her name? The princess? No. Oh, wait. yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay, oh, let's go. We would be poor representatives of our... Yeah, not princess. Go. God, what's what's her title? No Empress? treasure, don't found stone, Empress. No yeah, thank you. God. I love the idea that Eridos is like, yeah, man, I could totally convince these guys, and then someone's like, do you even speak their language? Like, uh, uh, no. <laughs> do any of you find gentlemen speak? On the boat. Oh, no, no. All right. So to the canoes quickly. Yep. Okay, you steal the ninjas' canoes. Uh, and so much. There is still the body of two ninjas on the boat, so they'll be able to tell. Yeah. So 
Okay, good. Here's what's interesting. Uh, when you get in the boat, Joff, in the canoe that you get in, mm -hmm. there is a helmet there that you're pretty sure you saw below deck. What? Hmm? There was a helmet that was on the funerary ship that's now in your canoe. Great. I will throw it overboard. No. No, wait. I, throw, I, I will throw <laughs> no. it overboard. I will okay. stop you. Hey. You... Who's in my boat? Arid, <laughs> yeah, is in we my need boat. to figure out who's in what boat. Yeah, it looks like a Gug and Smith paired off. We so, cannot yeah. be caught with stolen treasure from a funeral boat. We will be killed. Oh I will not God. be called a thief. I will not embarrass our Empress by such failings. Let's just figure out what it is. I, I love what is it, what does it look like? Does it just look like a helmet? Okay, actually I do have a picture of it. <laughs> Detect magic. Yo, first off, I don't think you have time to detect magic. Imagine the scene like this. There's 30 guys rushing on deck. You guys are hopping in canoes at the same time. You've got this thing. Joff's trying to throw it. Aeronos has his hand on it. I don't think you have the time to cast detect magic on it. I agree. Yeah. Okay. It is a very smart. beautiful looking fine helm in Ulfin style. Uh, it's obviously quite valuable. Oh, come on, man. Oh. No. <laughs> Listen, we'll argue and row. All right, let's we'll, go. We will Start argue rowing. and row. We will not row. be caught with this. Smith's rowing, Are and I'm, I'm grabbing it? the front of their no. boat. Are you I'm throwing not, it, Jeff? I'm not, I'm not letting him throw it's it. A, I'm assuring him that we will Unless you're going to grapple with him, you're not going to have a lot of options. Row. All right. I'm, I'm holding the front of their boat, and Smith's rowing. We're out of here. You guys you doing struggle so you with have the one hail. person rowing to drag four people. <laughs> well, it's while the boat. two of them have a... Aren't there a, two boats? Yeah. Well, if they there struggle are, much, but they're going in the water. <laughs> a Gug said he's holding the front of your boat. No, we can argue rowing. rows for all four of you. Well, we no, Eridos, row. I will start to row. Okay, we'll argue and row about this. We'll just so leave the helmet Again, for what's happening with the helmet, then? It sits in between us. Okay, we're going to argue and row. the helmet. You're gonna have a row while you row. And while Eridos is at the front of the boat <laughs> rowing, I will grab it and throw it overboard. Oh. <laughs> Perception. Simplicitous indeed. Um, yeah, I feel like there should definitely be some sort of check for that one. Give him I a perception check to no, see if he notices. I think sense motive is gonna be the one. Sure. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Even better. He can Versus watch it happen. Blocks. What's more important is does he see does he like sense that you're about to turn around and yeah. Get overboard. I think this is versus your bluff. Yeah, make a bluff check. And I'll give you a plus five because you've been playing this one pretty straight. Sure. So plus two, plus another five, so 17 to bluff. Yeah, he got it. He got it. Yeah, so Erdos, you totally know that he's about to throw this thing overboard. What would you like to do? I'll just pluck it in front of his hand and set him in front of me, and it's like, brilliant, let's go. Uh, you know, I was discussing this the other day, where in Pathfinder, the thing about players is that they have to resolve to violence to solve all of their problems. There's no uh, violence here. So I need to make a CMB check to grab it from him. No, I will gladly let him take it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to fight him over it. I'm not going to risk us not getting away over the helmet. But if I have an easy chance to grab it and throw it overboard, I will make that decision. Ro. He's got the myself. helmet in the front of the boat, and we start rowing. Yeah. yeah, we need to get out of here. It takes mere seconds. Okay, you continue to row. You <laughs> easily pass into the darkness of the night. <laughs> and I will mutter a diet, constant diatribe about risks and rewards. <laughs> when you the arrive... question is, how the heck did the helmet get from in there to in the boat when... The ninjas you know, planted the ninjas it. Ninjas never went up. downstairs. The ninjas planted it. This is it. their it's boat. A it's it's a plant. Okay. Look, think about it this way: they kill us all and leave us on there. They get the helmet and they go away. No loss. We kill all of them and we get away with the helmet. And then yep. somebody calls our room and says, "There's a helmet in the room from Snorri Stone Eyes funeral. Right. Go take a look." And it's there. Then what happens? But here, here's my question: It was in the hold with us. We exited through the only exit. They were They're on ninjas. the boat when we got there. They didn't get to the boat before we left. How did the helm get from down in the hold into the boat when the ninjas were nowhere around? 
I mean, uh, I, I'm assuming they're ninjas. They're ninjas. <laughs> Again, no, seriously, that's what that's what Joff is assuming. I'm assuming yeah. they're ninjas. Okay. Oh yeah. You appraise this item. It appears to be essentially valueless. Oh. <laughs> it has absolutely. Well, when I say valueless, it has no discernible like. It's hard to tell exactly what it is worth. So it it's. You know, it it's probably safe? magical. It's almost certainly masterwork. It has some pretty serious, like, wing stuff going on. <laughs> its design is ancient. You just, you have no idea. Detect magic. You say detect magic? Like, we're going to be significantly far away from the boat before sure. I start Can casting. you make a knowledge arcana check? Uh, sure. Spellcraft, okay. Uh, nope, it's actually Arcana here. You get a faint aura of divination magic. Huh. Divination? Hmm, like oh, someone's okay. tracking it? Uh, yeah, this looks like a divination. Or it, or it does a divination ability. True story. Or it yeah. was used by a wizard. Or it's fake! Well, we definitely don't want to show it to anybody. I think we should get rid of it as soon as possible. I love the way you said it's yeah. a fake, because it reminds me of that Deep Space Nine episode where the Romulan ambassador's like, It's a fake! <laughs> yeah, if it's got divination magic on it, I don't trust it anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. going over. I think, I think we should probably just hawk it and get rid of it and move on. All right, I don't so where are we going? we should hawk it. I think Wait, we is should. it a faint aura of divination? or? Yes. Faint right. aura of divination magic. So if it's we're gonna... actively there. There's an active aura on it. Yes. Okay. Well, but I mean, yeah. if the thing had an ability to do scrying, it would also have a divination aura. I mean, it doesn't. that doesn't mean that it's being divined on. It means it has... If you would like to put it on and see what it does, I would be yeah, more than happy was... to watch. That was my no. idea, yeah. And I think Eridos just might be unwise enough to try it. Well, wait, Eridos... Perhaps a Gug would like to lead us in this endeavor. Oh, yeah. He seems awfully interested in it. No, What's the worst I'm, that could I'm happen, just... follower of Rover Gug? Well, that. Um. Well, I I I don't know. Want to try know it? Nothing about no magic. Want to try the helmet on? That was not in character, a Gug. That was. <laughs> yeah, Gug isn't good. You, yeah, you call him follower not. of Rover Gug. He's not going to admit to that. No. He's not going to fall for that that baited trap. Follower or whatever. Do you just actually want to try the helmet on? Just because every no, I don't want anything to do with it. Oh, right. I get it. Just because everybody calls you the uh, chosen one, I I get it. I Trust know me, what the I crap they're talking about. I honestly and truthfully can have no idea what they're talking about. Okay, this is well, all now... news to me. <laughs> Does he have to bluff that? No, I am no. not bluffing because I have no yeah. idea what they're talking about. I don't know if he has knowledge religion or not. <laughs> Fair enough. But I, he's never mentioned having a holy, I, you know, like the holy texts of. I have never Obergun. held, never held any texts. I have no knowledge of religion. I truthfully don't know what they're talking about. Uh, no, I get it. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't have knowledge of religion either, and I'm a cleric. It's okay. I understand. Trust me, I understand. I have uh, my book. I read my book. That's all I'm I do. Go ahead and put that in the book. Okay, when you put the helmet on, Eridos. You hear a voice that's like, Could you please read your face out of my mouth? Holy shit. I'm taking the helmet right off. Do I recognize it? The voice emanates from the helmet and is like, Could you please keep your dirty, nasty hair out of my mouth? Oh. Oh, uh, what? I yeah. am Does it speak Carl, out loud? The Cassian Angel. I am here to guide you on your quest, maybe, probably. <laughs> I think that's a thing that I could do. <laughs> I'm feeling less bad about hurling this thing overboard. Uh, An intelligence speaking motive. helmet that's stuck sure, up in a You can attempt to sense motive on it. So, like, now that you've taken it off, it's actually, like, floating in the air. So you guys are, like, still... Maybe you've stopped rowing, but you're still moving because you don't you don't stop when you're in a boat. Sure, sure. For a while. And it's like floating in front of your faces, just keeping a perfect distance away from you. What does the other two people in the boat think since 
Uh, are we still on the boats, or were we going to wait to do this until we had parked? Uh, it on... sounded like you were still doing it when you were in the canoes. I mean, we're far away, but we're it's, still... Yeah, because if we want to ditch it, we want to ditch it in the water while we're still... Okay. Able Again, to... I want to point out, it's still floating. It's capable of movement on its own. <laughs> well, now we know how it got out of the boat. <clears throat> it didn't want to be burned up. Yeah, so when you say that, it's like, yes, of course, I didn't want to be burned up. I was conducting um, a secret investigation into the Rhyme Runners Guild, probably, is the thing maybe. I would say. <laughs> probably. Unfortunately, they locked the door on me before I could leave, and that was maybe the thing that caused me to not have a good time. Yes, Imagine not having, having only a not... foul undead creature to speak with for the rest of your life. Imagine uh, not having any hands and unable to open awful. the door. <laughs> that'd be truly awful. Do my sense motive tell me anything? No. All right. Some wizard um, speaking on the other end of a very, very fancy sending stone. Nope. The wizard equivalent of a tin cans in the stream. Do you have knowledge planes? Uh, if it I... is what it claims to be, it should be identifiable as such, right? <clears throat> I do not have knowledge planes. That does sound to like a problem. I'm a little shy on the I was just looking at my cleric. I'd forgotten how uh, creatively I created this guy. Oh no, I don't have a single knowledge point. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty creative, all right. Uh, Joff is uh He's more of a faith-based follower and less of a learned-based <laughs> follower. Wow. He has strong belief and more of a general <laughs> understanding of the details, but a lot of faith. Just not so much the schooling. Awesome. How much intelligence do you have? Or how many skill points do you have? Uh, I believe I get uh, two a level. No, one I because yeah. you have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one because I have to. <laughs> yeah, oh, I get two. One for being human and one for being class. <laughs> <laughs> I get one because they give me one. <laughs> like, okay. Nice. Um, yeah. Okay. Um so so Mr. Helmet. Um, why, why are you on helmet? Why are you looking at the Rhyme Runners Guild? Because we have a certain interest in them as well. He says, my name is Hel Garvel. You can probably call me that. Maybe. Probably. Yeah, maybe. Okay, well, you sound real sure about everything. All right. Um, it's been a hard life. <laughs> yeah, the whole no hands thing. I get it. Yeah. He says, um, no, you fool. Obviously, the no hands thing is an issue. But I was hoping to maybe earn my way up to being a higher angel, one that had manipulators. <laughs> Unfortunately, the angel. Oh, the angel that I arrived here with was killed by an evil individual, and now I've been attempting to maybe find out who's behind all of the evil in this city. Maybe. Probably. Most likely. <laughs> You don't sound real sure about anything. Says, okay. I have much knowledge uh, I could share with you. And maybe. then, like, he turns his wings upwardly, and you see, like, a moonbeam come down on him, and he's like, You insult me with my maybe probabilities. <laughs> I am a follower of the great goddess Desna. She has blessed me with much knowledge. Also, I've investigated a lot. Not a lot to do when you're a flying helmet. Okay, I well, I, just, like, I, I, can, I can believe that. So while right, they're talking, so... I cured myself okay. for some damage. <clears throat> Hopefully that Grace doesn't piss off the flying Sears. helmet. He says, I have a powerful piece of information to share with you. It is totally, probably vital to what you are about to do. Okay, that'd be great. He's like... The Rhyme Runners Guild is a powerful trading guild in Kalsgard. It's a front for a guild of thieves called the Frozen Shadows. Is that important to you, maybe? I think we had that piece already, but that's pretty cool, thanks. Sense motive. Um, it seems to be telling the truth, although now it's a little sad that you already knew that. Um, front for the whom? The Frozen Shadows Thieves Guild. 
Very well, I shall reveal. And like, it's it's using its wings to like, jazz hands. <laughs> and it's like, I shall reveal my final piece of information. That the F Frozen Shadows guilds are agents of the Five Storm Oni, who now secretly control far off Minkai. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Shit, the, the f hands of the what, Oni? The Five, five Storms, whoa! Storm. That and who is... secretly control. Who secretly control me? He's now. like, maybe, probably, this last piece of information could also be useful. There is a local spellcaster by the name of Go the Runecaster. He has taken the title of Gothi. He is a close associate and advisor to Thorborg Silverscore, head of the Rhyme Runners Guild. I have learned that a Bloodfeather Raven, in fact an enormous one, is the familiar of Gothi Runecaster. Did you know that? No, that's no, awesome because we, we were wondering not. about that Raven. You are a very resourceful helmet. This has been a wonderful talk. Take me with you. Maybe, thank, probably. We thank you very much for your help. Uh, oh, you. oh, that's terrible diplomacy. Sure. Oh, do you I have guess. a... Were you comfortable resting atop one of our heads? As long as you wash your hair. <laughs> I, what, what do you think the spa visit was? <laughs> All right. So that ties the blood feather back to the Rhyme Runners yet again, who aren't the Rhyme Runners. They're the Frozen Shadows, who we've already heard of. Who mm -hmm. Now we got another player, the Five Storms Oni. Okay. We might, we might, for those who remember way back, remember the Five Storms from the secret <coughs> future cutscene. That was at the beginning of the show that took Oh, yeah! That was the guys that were all yeah. changing forms and yeah, like yelling at each other change. and calling each other wussies and all that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. We'll probably hear from them again next time I need something yeah. dramatic. Yeah, <laughs> thank Okay. Next time I'm not playing Dragon Age right before the stream. <laughs> <laughs> but so, I should watch my... uh... Here's the thing. If you remember, you were getting kayaking Lex. So, this is the thing you guys have missed a couple times so far. And I feel that I should just inform your characters of it to remind you about this salient plot point. You were sent here and taught your lessons by a young woman named Ukshanka, who is the assistant to a guide who is one of the few people who is capable of doing the path between here, Kalsgard, and the crown of the world over to Tiansia. You remember that part? Yeah. No. Yeah, we thought we were gonna, yeah, we thought right. we were going to find him on the boat. Right, he's not on the boat. Okay. When you go back to Ukshanka <clears throat> and you park your canoes, she's gone. Oh, God. You can make a survival or perception check. But what's really obvious is that there's a huge black and red blood raven feather lying on the ground nearby. Oh, yeah, Eridos, there's signs of a struggle. Uh, Smith, you notice that on top of the black and red blood raven feather, underneath a couple areas, it looks like someone has tried to brush away the scenes of the conflict, but it's really obvious to you that that... There were probably Tengu here. At least a half dozen Tengu were involved in the recent combat in this area. Well, so she probably, uh. I'm going to have to bust out my mason voice. Tangled with them. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and the Tengu lead back to the, uh. Frozen Shadows again, right? Do they? Well, they actually work for the Oni, they said, the, the one in the, um. The one in the tower was talking about the Oni. Well, he was an Oni who took Tengu form. I thought he had also intimated that he worked for more powerful Oni, is what I meant. Yeah, he did. But he wasn't necessarily Oni. Or... He was a Yamabushi Tengu. That is an Oni. 
think it's Onis that take the form of Tengus because they think Tengus are hilarious. And we all think Tengu are hilarious, so, you know. Especially if you play right. Rainer. But, seeing as you're part of I feel show. like this is a part, like, this is the perfect segue to be like, and now we're going to take a break, but those of you on YouTube... Uh, you can go watch Rain of Winter if you haven't started the playlist right now. Dan's in it, uh, and there's a, a people die all the time. It's a fucking <laughs> bloodbath. We've had like four party wipes. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't think the party. Anyone... The party's self-destructing. I'm pretty sure they're all going to kill each other at the beginning <laughs> of the next session. So, if you Which... want to see some pretty serious inner party strife, not like. Not like right here where we've got Joff. He's like, I'm gonna throw the hat, and everyone's like, No, don't throw the no. hat. And he's like, No, I'm gonna throw the hat, man. He's like, No, don't throw the hat. <laughs> They're like Bill and Ted level of strife. Okay, we've got serious <laughs> like murder suicide level of strife in Random Winter. So. Yeah. Wow. If you know Henry from Die Party, he's probably going to die to next week. Well, he hasn't died yet. Could but say he maybe probably died. Maybe, yeah. probably. Yeah. But he's in a room with two paladins, so maybe not. <laughs> All right. Well, follow, like, subscribe, watch shows. Be back in five and a half minutes. All right. Second half. Bam. <laughs>